Joey Cassano right here. I represent TeamCassano.com. How we doing today, fellas, gentlemen, ladies, whoever's watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video starting off. Trojan fans, going to talk a little bit about last year's schedule real fast, this year's schedule real fast. I don't get into all these names and stuff like that. I used to be a book for years, and you don't need to know all that. Believe me, if you jump on my board, we're going to be betting the opposite of degenerate losing gamblers. You're going to have to stomach some losses. We don't win all our games. But anyways, let's talk about the Trojans. Last year, five and seven, unacceptable for SC football, in my opinion. Especially after going ten and three and eleven and three. However, you got a good quarterback. I think this year he's going to progress. He completed fifty nine point five percent of his passes last year. If he can chop that interception number in half, you know, I'm sure they all ten weren't his fault. Some bobbles get thrown up in the air, but still, you know. Um, Let's get that number in half. I uh, know he's got his three favorite wide receivers, his three favorite wide receivers, which means his three favorite targets. Uh, the offensive line, eh, a little young, you know. That's what kind of scares me a little bit about you guys. You got one brutal of a schedule, brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, Fresno State, you know, they got a new quarterback, so I think you guys will get that win. And uh, they got a decent defense, not bad. But you guys will probably be looking ahead to Stanford. I wouldn't even touch that game. Stanford, you probably guys would be home dogs because uh, they beat you guys last year, seventeen to three. Uh, Stanford's kind of, you know, they're up there too. Uh, I mean, it's, that's going to be a tighter one than I think what the last year's game was. At BYU, I think you guys will actually be looking ahead to Utah. I would probably take BYU in the points. You guys. Probably would be favored in that game. I mean, you might not. You might be small underdogs in that game. But you got Utah the following week. So I see you guys taking your foot off the gas. You see how I kind of think? Like, I really don't need to know about players. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get even more deeper on y'all's schedule in a minute. It has nothing to do with knowing the names of the guys and what they did and all that. Like, it's all about the numbers, gentlemen. How do you think they get the point spread? So, right. Anyways, um, then you got to play uh, at Washington. I mean, they got a new quarterback. Y'all got the quarterback mismatch, but they got a hell of a coach. Uh, never an easy atmosphere to go and play in. It's a division game. You're off a week, and then you got to go at Notre Dame. Another tough, tough game. Y'all will be dogs in that game. You lost a close one in that one. I uh, see the revenge factor, you know, favoring y'all for sure. Arizona, I just, man, I don't even want to talk about them. I, I, I hope y'all beat them. I, I, I don't even want to talk about them. At Colorado, Colorado is always kind of a, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I, I, like I said, you guys got Oregon the following week, so I bet you guys aren't going to be really showing all your tricks that week. Uh, you know, you definitely be home dogs against Oregon. That would be a great spot that I would pick. The only reason I wouldn't bet that game is because that's like game day material type, especially if USC's on a hot run. Um, I don't like betting on the big games or on TV. You know, uh, we like to watch those games. We don't like to bet on those games because Vegas is zoomed in on those games. Vegas knows the people are going to wager money on those games. So the point spread is going to be usually spot on. We don't like to be on those type of games. Like I said, my first pick of the week is against y'all's rival, UCLA plus three and a half at Cincinnati. Who's even worried about that game? Is really anyone going to talk about that game week one? Really? No. Okay, so then we'll get back down. Oregon. You got to give all you got against Oregon. Now you got to go on two game road stretch at Arizona State. <sighs> Y'all lost to them, so you got revenge factor. Lost a close one. They they're rebuilding, in my opinion. They got a great recruiting class, however, but they're rebuilding. I think that'd be a tough one. Then this is what I'm talking about. Then you got to go at a Cal, another interstate rival game with a great defensive line with UCLA next week. I mean, your schedule is just oh. You know, so I don't know, man. I mean, I hope it gets better for you guys because, I mean, college football is better when SC football is better. Let's just – it is what it is. Uh, so, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm looking down at just a lot of simple facts that I look at that I just present easy stuff to me. Like I said, what I used to do is book ball games for years, worked for one of the biggest books in uh, the Deep South. I know how degenerates bet. We're not going to bet like that. This is about sports book balance management. One deposit, increasing it week after week, like a stock. I like what I'm watching behind me. You know, I got a guy last year from from two hundred dollars to twelve hundred dollars at the week one of college football before Halloween, betting twenty five, four fifty dollars, forty dollars a game. Got a guy the year before that, negative one fifty to two k. I got another guy on Fifth Street Sports. You can go over and find him that wanted me to be on his show 
from Vegas, lived in Vegas. It don't matter how big or little the show is. He reached out to me. So that just tells you he did his due diligence on me. You did your due diligence on your, on, the line on me, yourself, and, your, and Daniel Wages and I. And let me just show you something about let me show you something. This is what Daniel Way just did this weekend. My my MM, MMA guy. And a little bit of baseball. I'm not, I'm not a baseball guy. He does a little baseball here and there. But where's his picture? There we go. Here's his picture from Saturday. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Yep, those are all from Saturday. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Win, win, win. So three and no day. You know. So um, and he doesn't know much about those fighters either. Like I've taught that guy well, and he's not an idiot by any means. So like I said, if you want to increase your sports book balance, believe me. Click below. Get on my free pick list. Subscribe to my channel. Find out when I'm doing anything huge, which I seldom do. You'll find out about more on the system once you join the team. Uh, like I said, click on the link below. Sign right on up. I get right in touch with you. Boom, like that. We're in. All right, gentlemen, uh, and whoever else watched the video, I appreciate you giving me six minutes of your time. USC Trojans going 11 and 3 and just winning some bowl game isn't going to be enough man you guys got to get back in there anyways i appreciate you giving me six and a half minutes of your life